she wanted to kill me and kill herself but when she vile alikuwa anaenda kujirusha nyali bridge because this is her testimony mm-hmm. don't mind but alinaniambia aliniambia when vile alienda kujirusha nyali bridge she had the voice of god because she was a born again christian even mm-hmm. through all this throughout abuse we don't go through uh, storms because we are unbelievers mm-hmm. storms happen to everybody yeah. you know and the storms of life come to all all people with me a woman that when i was researching about her, her story blew me away completely we have with me edith wairimo karibu to the show <laughs> asante sana hey, karibu we are honored to have you in this show today thank you i'm so honored to yeah, be here we bless god amen now if i were to ask who yes. is edith wairimo edith wairimo is a born again christian mm-hmm. uh you know a daughter of the most high god a music minister mm. and a preacher by the grace of god so you have had i'm a prophetic voice in this generation <laughs> we have to own it amen yes amen she's a prophetic voice mm. in this generation in this generation not in any other yes. in this generation yes, yes by god's grace amen yes and when i was researching about you mm. i realized you have a very deep story. Yes. I was like where has this story been? Yes. Because everyone has to hear this mm. from when you were young all the way up to right now as a music minister and how um you have faced rejection, yes. how you almost died. Yes. So we were just wondering if you were asked to tell us your story, mm. what would you tell us? Well, my story is a very humbling story. Mm-hmm. It comes from a very humble place. to a very humble place. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just because you know the Lord keeps lifting us, we must humble ourselves every day. So, you know, I was born I'm born from a, a single parent family. Eh, like many people. Man, there we have a lot of single parents here in the country. Yeah, that's And that true. is why we need to tell this story so that people are encouraged. So, such is mine. My mother was uh, was was married to a very abusive man. Mm. and her story ended uh, in terms of marriage ended with abuse and she left and left with me and um, when we when she went home we started leaving me my mother and my grandmother mm-hmm. and it was that way until i was in class 8 so when i was in class 8 um, there was a lot of there was a lot of problems surrounding the way we used to live and all that um, my mother was the least Uh, of all her you know just not just age wise but even then i mean financially speaking and in all other aspects she was the least mm. and uh, going into high school i was uh, i passed very well and was called into a very good high school amen uh, but it was it's in lower kabere it's called meriliki girls eh? wow one of the best it's actually a very good school mm. so when i was called my family all of a sudden there was an uprising and i was rejected from my family for about almost 10 years so coming out uh, from from now my my home the home that i have known to be home mm-hmm. we moved into a slum but before my mother moved into a slum she, we uh, she lived on the streets like um, you know just sleeping on the streets just for a short time but then uh, god uh, god sent help and he got someone to take us in into a very small very very small house the only thing when i was in high school the only thing i knew in that house was a bed and a table mm. there was no space for nothing else at all hiyo nyumba ilikuwa ya mabati na chini tulikuanga tuna sweep side moja kulikuanga kunanyesha so sometimes <laughs> sometimes kukinyesha tunalala we it's just the two of us so tunalala vizuri ju tumeshikilia basin na mtu wow. asitan cuz ukitan maji itamwika <laughs> yes inavarudi. exactly Ui. sometimes my mother would go there would there'd not be any food in the house anaenda akikuja ile atakuja nayo ndio tutakula mm. and that was when i was in holiday in high school wow so me i never knew kitu inaitwa radio ama tv when i was in high school i didn't know that i had known them before in my family but now i was you know i was out of that comfort mm. so 
mimi na mimi nilikuwa tu na njaro zangu eh, because in high school as a teenager lazima ujue mambo so what i used to do because people have watched movies people have you know had interesting holidays na mimi njaro yangu ilikuwa ng'a siku ya kwanza watu opening kazi yangu ilikuwa kusikiza stories za watu nasikiza story kama ni movie na isikiza na naisikiza vizuri after that nita inareto tadhani mimi ndio niliwatch so my creativity ilianza <laughs> necessity is the mother oh, of invention ilibidi <laughs> so um i was i was just out of high school when i was in um form 2 chest yes mm-hmm. for for school fees mm-hmm. and all that eh? so by chest it you know it simply just means a time came and my bill was too big mm-hmm. but god restored me mm-hmm. how did he do that i was uh, given a scholarship by a church mm-hmm. called the uh, Nairobi Baptist Church in Valley Road hiyo mm-hmm. kubwa hapo ile ile e, ile ile tunajua ile moja tu so that is the church mm-hmm. ile imenisomesha throughout high school wow. So I am a product of tithes and offerings what we are I am a product of God's grace Amen. and to be honest I am just I'm mimi mimi ni mtoto wa Mungu na samanga nimesoma na pesa za kanisa nimekula pesa za kanisa mimi hauwezi ni destroy kwa sababu God's investment he protects it Yeah that's true Yes so that's money investment true. of grace Amen Nikamaliza high school nikaenda university and uh, by god's grace again nikafanya nilikuwa nataka kufanya music nikiwa campus mm-hmm. eh lakini mama yangu <laughs> na ile mashida yote tulikuwa nayo wakaniambia music ni kitu unafanya ukiwa kwa bahu mami ama <laughs> <laughs> it's an extracurricular activity yeah. mm-hmm. fanya fanya vitu fanya just do as a serious course so i went there and i pursued a degree in statistics nikamaliza mm-hmm. after that eh, kando kando nikafanya cpa nikamaliza mpaka k So after that I joined the world of finance eh? nikafanya nikafanya finance and financial analysis mm. for a few years before now kuingia kabisa sasa kwa gospel ministry amen yes see see such a lovely story that you have yes and there's one part where we were told that your mom almost took your life Yes, yes, and that is I know I have skimmed over my story yeah, yeah, yeah. of course because of time mm-hmm. but when uh, when she was in Mombasa Um, I was born in Mombasa. Mm-hmm. So when when she was going through abuse after she left my father's place. Mm-hmm. Um she was very suicidal because she had gone through a lot within the marriage and then uh, she was now starting over her life and she never knew, you know, what to do, where how to uh, where to go, nini nini nini. So she felt the only way that she can do that was end her life. Mm-hmm. But now If she ends her life and leaves me I will suffer. Yeah. So you know like like many disturbed mothers we have seen it's a it's a rising trend she wanted to kill me and kill herself. But when she vile alikuwa anaenda kujirusha Nyali Bridge because this is her testimony mm-hmm. don't mind. But alinaniambia aliniambia when vile alienda kujirusha Nyali Bridge she had the voice of God because she was a born again Christian even mm-hmm. through all this throughout abuse we don't go through uh um, storms because we are unbelievers mm. storms happen to everybody yeah. you know and the storms of life come to all all people you know so when she vile alikuwa anataka kujirusha nyali bridge that's when she had the voice of god and it was very very clear ikamwambia ukijirusha wewe utakufa but she will live because she is my servant and she has to serve destiny inaitwa destiny let me tell you destiny. something destiny ukufangi uh-huh. unajua ile unauliza kifo iko wapi haikuji kwa sababu you are carrying destiny like i told you i'm god's investment Ish. yes Amen. Mm. and even as you were saying you faced rejection yes. there was this time you were almost facing death yes what made you not allow the poison of all these things that are going on around you to enter into you because you're saying even when you were in high school yes you used to wait for other people's stories yes. and you gladly told them yes you didn't look at yourself as a lesser person or as a victim yes. how did you not allow this poison to affect you i can't say that i didn't allow it there has been times when i was very low mm-hmm. well even in high school i was suicidal at some point um kuna pahali niliweka panado kama 200 nikakunywa sasa sikujua panado aziezi kuwa ni uchungu tu inaishanga <laughs> 
to be honest i took a lot of panadols but i never died i in a trauma move 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 see shida in a trauma move move bones in a trauma move move roho na nini rubber kitu hivyo but kitu inafanya inaharibu liver because you know from hiyo kusia gizo dawa zote your liver can can get this damaged eh? mm-hmm. but what i'm trying to say is that uh, i have tried suicide uh, clearly mm-hmm. and i have been at rock bottom what i can say is that god's grace always comes through Amen. i love the words of apostle paul when he says that god's strength is made perfect in weakness no, weaknesses because when we are weak then he is strong Amen. so all i can say is i i cannot say that i've been strong throughout mm-hmm. because there's been times i wanted to, i felt like throwing in the towel but at that particular point god speaks to me let me give you an illustration mm-hmm. when i was in form 2 when i was uh, i i went through that suicidal phase eh? just before i got the scholarship from the church mm-hmm. i was very suicidal because there's a lot that was happening and for me it wasn't happening at from birth no it's just something that has come and all of a sudden my life has become something i never knew so also adjusting was a bit of a tussle for me mm. and there was a time I, i even skipped classes i skipped afternoon classes three classes and i went to the chapel and i really cried unto god i was just praying and crying unto god and i remember at around 4 p.m. the lord i had the spirit of the lord told me wake up and i woke up and he showed me a very old bible very very old bible ilikwanga pad pale kwa kando ya chapel and i went and vile nilifungua hivyo the spirit of the lord led me to isaiah isaiah i think chapter 60 is it uh, no chapter 61 verse 14 and 15 mm-hmm. which says that the sons of your oppressors shall come bowing down at your feet so it was it was speaking very prophetically to me based on where i was mm. And then you know prophet Isaiah writes very beautiful words and he says though you have been forsaken with no one coming through you and it speaks about the restoration of Israel mm. and so in that particular moment when I was very low the spirit of god understood how to lift how to lift me from the pits i have to say this mm-hmm. because some people might feel like eh ao huyo hakuangi discouraged no mm. we all become discouraged at some point But when the enemy comes in like a flood mm, the, the spirit of the lord really always lifts a standard against him Amen. and that is our hope Amen. yeah Amen. and even as you're saying that you did have suicidal thoughts yes are those like past things or do you at times experience them do you at times still feel them mm. did god heal you completely suicide aikuangi kwa mind yangu it's it's not <laughs> because you know suicide is the spirit of death yeah 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 <laughs> the spirit of death so i no longer struggle with that mm. what i can say is i, I have other struggles yeah. uh probably more natural you yeah. know like uh, like you know uh, food and clothes and all that and it's because we're in this world yeah. you know so we we will have struggles because you know this world is not perfect and it's a, it's a fallen generation it's a fallen race so we will have problems but what i can say is that is a demonic oppression because you know suicide comes from depression and depression mm. comes from it's a satanic oppression it's a demonic yeah. oppression i can say this that the lord has destroyed most of these oppressions that the enemy had around my around my neck eh? god told them you know yeah. told them kabisa yeah. so i no longer go through demonic oppression i no yeah. longer go through depression the lord has set me free yeah. from that but i have now the general struggles natural struggles you know that you pray about and yes. that done with yes. and even as you're saying this journey that you have gone through yes how has it impacted your music oh it it has done a great deal because mm-hmm. a house people love seeing the beauty of a house they don't understand the foundation that's true but all these things that i went through they went into the foundation they went into making me the person that i am here is what i what i what i am now if i'm rejected by somebody mm-hmm. and somebody just looks at me and says oh this i don't like you for some reason i don't like you i'm sorry but i've gone through so much rejection to an extent siko baya siko baya some of these things now don't affect me mm. and it's because i have gone through them you know i've gone through them so long and you know have to had to fight them for so hard mm. that sometimes it's it's embedded itself into into the character of who i am mm. the only challenge is that it becomes a challenge when um 
based on what I have gone through, I also tend to shy away from too many people. Mm. Um, having gone through rejection, I'm also very keen on how people react. If mm. if I see like I'm going to be rejected, I might I might pull out quickly. Mm. Pull you know, away. pull away quickly and mm -hmm. you know just to avoid going through it again. Mm. So I I have to say that there's a psych psychological impact. Um, but musically, it just goes into building, you know, the foundation of who I am. It has made me stronger. Mm -hmm. But then also the decisions that I have made across, you know, my life, they've also gone into how, you know, how I make decisions for myself today and, you know, the, you know, the direction of what I do. Mm -hmm. But of course, we are always under constant guidance of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Mm -hmm. And even as this has shaped your music journey. Mm. What was like the first experience that you had and you mm. felt mm. you have a breakthrough in the gospel industry and you, your music is being received by people? Well, I can't say that the first, the first time I had a breakthrough in the music journey was the same time as the first time that I got to people. Mm. Because for me, the first time I wrote a song that I really loved, I was going through a lot. And when I released it, people did not receive it as a mass, but mm. me, I felt it. As in, like, I, I felt Ili like... Ilinishika, Iliniweza. Ili it got a lot of media circulation, but some of the social media handles, they weren't really growing very well. But now coming into the mass production, mass media, you know, and doing music for, you know, for, for that many people have had, that would have to be 2020. In 2020. In 2020. Mm. So by gra by God's grace, you and your time, Nini, eh, COVID ilikuweshika sana, imeshika kabisa. Mm -hmm. And um, churches were closed. You know, churches were closed. And at one point, I was invited to go and preach. Uh, I've told you I preach. So I, I was invited to go and preach at a, at a, um, it was a youth Sunday, a Presbyterian week, a week youth Sunday. Eh? Mm -hmm. And we were preaching online. So after preaching, to kind of vestry, vestry is, is, is normally like the church office. So as we were taking tea, we were like, um, you guys, how is COVID taking you? So everybody had their own story. Oh, we've lost jobs. You know, COVID, yeah. COVID hit very yeah, hard. So true. we've lost jobs. Some people had lost people and all that. And we're like, okay, so how do we encourage the body of Christ? And how do we come in as the body of Christ and just give people hope? And we're like, why don't we be coming here every week? on Friday and just be recording a few worship songs and releasing them to the people and that way you know we will we will be kind of we will have an yeah in an input mm. Mm -hmm. so the next week on when on Friday we to kakuja to ka record hata kuna watu hapo walikuwa anga wanacheza cheza wanarusha rusha tumiungu it was not serious we wacha ni kuambia vile tuliekelea tu hivyo facebook ilienda kama moto ikaenda na ikaenda yani do you know here's the thing? So mm -hmm. many churches had started going live, and as we felt like the big churches, I will not name them, but the big churches who had who already had a live performance, as in it's like it's like the way Gideon said, Manze, as in I'm the least in my oh, family, my family is the least in the your clans, your clan is the least in <laughs> you know that kind of thing. As we felt like we weren't worthy, like this music is not even good. Manze mm -hmm. to me a mix a church, muze. Easy microphone, so there's my mix to a mixture, church man. Sound, nini kiskiza lewa kina shindangwa. Ninini watu wa nisikia. What did people hear? But when God anoints something, man, you can't stop it. Naikaenda, naikaenda. So by that time, sasa when we came the next week, tulikuwa tunambiana, hey, we, umona. Is of use niza ukwili ya mani za uongo. So sisi tulikuwa tunadhani, by the way, this thing is not real. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, ni kanza kujisikia kwa status za watu. Tunaenda, alafu funny thing, sasi jazoea, it's, it's new found publicity. So ni kwa kwa mathri, ule msa ya meketi pali, alashesa ngoma yangu ni kwa like a joke. Mm -hmm. Alafu you see, people think it's a joke, unatumia mathri. Ama sometimes, ukwa kwa boda, unasikia nda ule demu ule. <laughs> Do kaleka demu, kaleka pisi ye. Kwa mm -hmm. zivalikuwa na nita demu ofisi ye. Mm -hmm. So ikawa hivo, ikaendelea, ikaendelea kutrend. Sashida ilikuanga. Mm -hmm. How do you transform this newly found favor into something that will last? Consistent. Consistency okay. sasa. So now it required me to start writing music. Ya kikuyu. Wow. Madam. 
that was a holy spirit work hiyo ilikuwa kazi ya roho mtakatifu kabisa because mimi had grown up listening to family radio mm. before listening to you know like is the normal eh, english songs eh, is the songs Mabili za kizungu time. kizungu eh, nilikuwa ta, ngoma yangu nilikuwa naandika rock mm. all of a sudden mlangu imefunguka ya kikuyu music hey, my friend nilirudi kwa migu ya yesu nikamwambia <laughs> Uja, uja cha kuumba mm-hmm. you are still creating mm-hmm. so ni umbi yai and he did it, <laughs> and he did it. He by god's you. grace yes amen mm. amen and we're glad to hear that mm. we're glad to see that there is a consistent journey mm. in your music industry because yes. i had someone say that you're like the mother also of mm. the gospel industry You mm. see the same way we have fathers of the land mm. there are mothers and fathers in the gospel industry so mm. people look up to you mm. and even as people are looking up to you in the music industry mm. they want to emulate you mm. and they're wondering how how can we start this mm. what can we do so that we can you know walk the journey mm. what would you tell them well here's the thing first and foremost you need to be very keen on what god wants you to do because many of those people who want to do they want to do because somebody else has done mm. it you understand how yeah. it is Copy. yes but you need to you need to really know that that is your place in the body of Christ that is very very key mm. ujue kwa sababu watu wengi wanaingia muziki mm. lakini gift yao iko kwa watoto gift yao iko kwa you know preaching to 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 people who are in 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 some funny streets doing funny things mm-hmm. that's where the calling is but what wameingia what they think they should be doing so it's and the reason why you will find some people struggling for very long is because they are misaligned mm. from what they are supposed to be doing but once you are aligned to what you are supposed to be doing and it's still not working out then understand that it's not the time of god mm. be patient be patient sometimes it takes patience even for me it took patience and it's still taking patience another thing is As you look up to myself and people who are doing you know music in a in a big way by the by the grace of God. Amen. Paul says very clearly that follow me as I follow Christ. Mm. What does that mean? It means look up to this person as they follow Christ so that if they become misaligned with Christ you remain on Christ. You understand what I'm talking about? That's- Don't begin to emulate people with even the yabba deeds. Sometimes even us we lose the way. When we lose the way, you remain focused on Christ. And that is the way to remain being firmly founded. Amen. You will never lack relevance. Amen. Yes. And even as you're saying that a person will never lack relevance when mm. they follow Christ. Yes. What's the one song? Yes. That you felt when you sang yes people connected with it to a very deep level yes and you were blessed by the way people were in tune with that song yes yeah i think i've done two of such songs mm-hmm. the first one was is called gaiwa gaishiyode mm-hmm. it's a worship song that talks about him as god of all gods so that one ilienda the second one was a song that i did talking about doors that says that You know I am grateful for the doors you opened for the doors that I am waiting for and the doors that you closed. That's also a song that Eo that one has a very big testimony because someone wrote to me and told me Edith actually no I think they called me mm-hmm. and they told me Edith they were in tears walikuwa wanalia kabisa kabisa na kaniambia Edith this song has healed my sister. She got cancer and Eo cancer ili ilifanya lazima angetolewa womb yake and because of her womb you know kutolewa she could never bear children and she entered depression mm. and she has been in that state of depression almost madness for years and there was nothing that could be done about it because you cannot restore her womb you understand mm. so she was managing it through drugs but when that song came out by god's grace that spirit of depression lifted amen and today she's no more amen she does not take drugs anymore she has been restored i like that yeah even the fact that you're saying you know depression lifted yes the very same thing that affected you yes you're now able to lift it off from other people yes that is 
what we call true inspiration. Mm. And even as you are in this journey, mm. where do you do, draw your inspiration from? The Lord. Amen. I have no other inspiration other than the word of God. Mm. Mimi, for me, I have I have tried people's talk. I have tried. But to be honest, I have found that the only inspiration that I can get mm -hmm. is from the word of God. Sometimes it's not even from worship music. It's just from that intimate time. Mm -hmm. That intimate time that I have with the Lord. Me for me, I don't know about other people, but for me, I've always discovered that when I when I go deep into the word, Nikienda too deep into the word, and then after that I have a moment of prayer. I normally feel refreshed. If I was feeling downcast, I normally feel lifted. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I would have to say that that is my source of strength. And are there challenges that you have faced in this journey? Yes, many. <laughs> <laughs> are you joking? Zile we are in the world. So I have I have I've experienced a lot of things. I have experienced um lack. Mm. You know, you want to do something but you have, you know, you lack in the resources that you require. You rack you lack where? You rack. Eh? <laughs> we are rocking. We are rocking. So you lack in the resources that you require, you you lack in the networks that are required to do that thing. But the second thing, I have experienced challenges when it comes to people. People are difficult. Mm. People are very difficult. And so I have met people without integrity. Mm. I have met people who just hate. I mean, people will look at you and tell you, I don't like you. Why? For no reason. I just don't, you know. And you have to love on them. So, I mean, I think when it comes to resources, when it comes to people, when it comes to, you know, even growth. It is, it is a push and pull. I have gone through spiritual warfare that is crazy. And you see, one of the reasons why people don't even know they are going through spiritual warfare, mm -hmm. it is because it presents itself as natural things. Mm -hmm. You know, That's spiritual true. warfare can come. Unaenda kusoma biblia mtoto analia. Yes, it looks like a natural thing, but it's, but it it's warfare, mm -hmm. you know. So... It, things are there. Ziko. <laughs> ziko, ziko. Mm -hmm. But by God's grace... Like I said, whenever the enemy comes in like a flood, the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift a standard against Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And even as you are saying all these things, yes, and I'm getting the picture that you know God has raised you up from when you were young, yes, all the way up to now, yes, you're like a literal investment from God, a yes. seed that God has really worked on. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing that can come and shake you at this time. And even if he tries, yes, uh, you have God by your side. Yes. And even as you are saying all these things, who are the people that have held you mm. through this journey, through these situations that you have been going through? Men and women of God who the Lord raises for periods of time. I have to say that I don't have one person mm. who has been there throughout other than my mother. Mm -hmm. So by God's grace, my mother is still alive and she's still healthy. And she has been there with me through thick and thin. Mm -hmm. But other than that, every single period that I go through, God always rises up a person for that season. Nikitoka, unona neema imeisha, ameenda. So I've had seasonal people coming in and out of my life who have helped me go through certain, you know, certain things. Faces. Yes, yeah, certain faces of life. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, that's that's the grace of God. That's how you see the beauty of the grace of God. Sending mana. He's, yes, he sends he sends just these people. They will come give you an encouraging word, aende. Mm. He will come give you financial uh, help, aende. Mm. You will come, and it will be in different seasons, mm. you know. So I've seen such angels being sent into my life, in and out of my life. Mm. Mm. But other than that, the one constant figure that I can say throughout my life has been there is obviously my mother. Amen. And I thank God for her. Amen. Mm. And now would you give us one of the songs that you just know? Mm. This song has ministered to my heart. Yes. This song is one that I love and you have been the one that has sung it. Yes. This song is inspiring to my soul. Yes. Would you give us a snippet of it? Yes. And tell us where we can also find your music. All right. So that song goes like this. Nemenyete. Oke hinga morango, no ke hingora, o hingora gani wendo. 
Edagisho kiangado, ni murango wa hingorire, murango ni ejetereire, na murango wa hingire. Nidagisho kiagado, ni murango wa hingorire, murango ni ejetereire, na murango wa hingire. So that is that is that's one of my most favorite yes. songs. <laughs> it's spoken to me. Mm -hmm. um, it felt like I preached to other people, but at some point it felt like I I preached it for me. Amen. So all this and and on and all my music you can find it on uh, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So my YouTube channel is Edith Wairimo. but then I'm also on social media and across all platforms. My name is Edith Wairimo Kenya. So you will find Facebook is Edith Wairimo Kenya, Instagram is Edith Wairimo Kenya. And even on TikTok, it's Edith Wairimo Kenya. Amen. Mm.